another variation of the cashew shake that we did called the cashew custard and uh, we're going to combine my favorite fruits these are all my favorite fruits um, very much sort of tropical type of salad although the strawberries aren't uh, uh, tropical at all what we've got is the mangoes and I've diced the mangoes already here and as I said they are absolutely loaded with a yellow color mangoes contain more beta carotene than any other food and in fact, if you're trying to protect your skin against skin cancer, one of the best ways to do it is to make sure that you're consuming lots of these bright yellow or orange colored fruit and vegetables. And mangoes in summer are awesome, particularly if you're going to be spending time outside in the sun, which is beneficial to us. We know that sunlight helps to strengthen our bones, lowers our cholesterol levels, um, improves the immune function. All of that is beneficial. But if you know you're going to be overdoing it a little bit in the sun, and, and even if you're just spending half an hour, which is what you need every day in natural sunlight, make sure that you're eating some bright yellow vegetables or fruit on a daily basis. And that's why I love mangoes, because they're so delicious. They're unbelievably healthy. So a mango a day is kind of a policy if you want to keep you know, skin cancer at bay. That's one of the ways to do it. If you really don't like mangoes, and stick to your carrots and your carrot juice. But um, to that I'm going to be adding... Uh, these lychees and just to make a look short you know what you know the, what these actually are this looks like a very fleshy sort of fruit here and that's all the natural juice that's come out of it after I peeled it and those little brown spots are just really I'm just going to open one up just to show you these are unbelievably juicy the brown coloring is really on the inside of the flesh closest to the um, to the pip Absolutely exquisite fruit. Doesn't last very long the season, but at least it lasts longer than the cherry season. I had hoped to put some cherries into this, but I couldn't find any. Um, and to that, I'm going to be adding the strawberries. Look at these colours. Now, you don't have to add pineapple, but I like to add some extra pineapple to this. And particularly if you are suffering from a bit of arthritis or... Um, inflammatory conditions. Pineapple doesn't cause it. None of the acid fruit do. But what it will do is aggravate an existing condition or something that's been caused either by wear and tear in the body, um, you know, using the mouse on the, on the computer all the time, or if you have a predisposition towards arthritis, or you originally had it. It won't cause it, but it can aggravate it. And once your diet is sorted out, you may find that you're comfortably able to eat pineapple in a fruit salad like this. So what we're going to do is... Um, just add some diced pineapple to that and then I'm going to make the cashew custard. Pineapples of course as I said they are what we call acid fruit which means they are acid to the taste buds. They are acidic in the mouth but like all fruit they actually leave an alkaline residue in your bloodstream so don't avoid fruit because you think it's too acid for you. You need to listen to your body your tongue feels sore and there's acidity and you've got um, your mouth is sensitive then cool it on the acid fruits and go more for the sweeter fruits the bananas and the pepinos and the apples and the pears and the grapes but if your body's telling you to eat pineapples there's nothing wrong with eating two of them if your tongue can manage it listening to your body is more important than just sort of weighing and measuring and saying you have to eat but try and eat a good variety of colors and tastes and textures. Try not to just stick with the same old apples and bananas every day. And it's wonderful to experiment with this fruit. This is a lovely fruit salad to, to serve to people during the holidays as either a breakfast or even a lunch if it's really hot like it is today. It's an exceptionally warm day and um, Something like this for lunch if you don't feel like making anything savoury. And then what we're going to do is make our cashew cream. So I've got about one and a half, maybe two cups of cashew nut water in my stir. And I'm going to add that. And to that I'm going to add some pineapple. That's one pineapple. And the juice of, um, I've got probably three oranges here. Freshly extracted orange juice. And what I need to add to that as well is a cup or two of ice. I'm just going to grab some ice. Alright, now make sure you put this ice in. 
because it's one of the actual key ingredients, not from a nutrition perspective at all. It just makes this cashew cream really, really creamy. Uh, it goes white and frothy and creamy and light. And if you leave it out, it still tastes nice, but this makes it taste twice as nice. So as much as you like, I find about two cups, as many, as much uh, in, in volume of the cashews you put in, you put the same amount in ice. So basically, it's really full. And I'm going to switch this on. delicious and creamy. Now you can either just let everybody spoon it over their own or pour it over their own fruit salad or you can do what I love to do and that's just to pour it over the fruit salad in the bowl. Look how creamy that is. Oh, it's too beautiful. My mouth is absolutely watering. Now I'm going to go and fetch my two grandsons who slept over here tonight last night and um, give them some breakfast.